Hello everyone, and welcome to our channel. Today we'll be talking about the difference between PRP, OPRP, and CCP. These three terms are commonly used in food safety management systems, particularly in the context of hazard analysis and critical control points and other risk assessment frameworks. These terms help to identify and manage potential hazards in food production processes. So, let's break down each term and provide some examples. PRPs or prerequisite programs are basic hygiene and operational practices that create a foundation for food safety within a facility. They are general practices that apply to the entire production environment and contribute to maintaining a clean and safe facility. PRPs are not considered critical control points, but they provide essential conditions for ensuring food safety. Some examples of PRPs are Personal hygiene practices for employees such as handwashing and proper attire. Sanitation procedures for equipment and surfaces. Pest control measures to prevent infestations. And training programs for employees on food safety practices. OPRPs or operational prerequisite programs are specific measures that are essential for controlling specific operational risks in a food production process. They are situated between PRPs and CCPs in terms of criticality. OPRPs address significant risks that cannot be managed through PRPs alone but do not reach the level of being a critical control point. Some examples of OPRPs are Temperature control during food storage to prevent bacterial growth. Allergen segregation and labeling to prevent cross-contamination and testing of water quality used in food production for the presence of contaminants. And finally, CCPs or critical control points are the most critical points in a food production process where control measures are applied to prevent, eliminate, or reduce hazards to an acceptable level. Failure to control these points could result in a food safety hazard. CCPs are identified through a thorough hazard analysis and are closely monitored and managed. Some examples of CCPs are The cooking temperature for meat to ensure pathogens are killed Pasteurization of dairy products to eliminate harmful microorganisms And the sterilization of canned foods to prevent the growth of Clostridium botulinum. In summary, PRPs are the foundational practices for maintaining general food safety OPRPs are specific operational measures to control significant risks and CCPs are critical control points where hazards must be controlled to ensure food safety. These terms are integral to designing effective food safety management systems that ensure the production of safe and high-quality food products. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed our video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more upcoming content. We wish you all the best and hope to see you again soon.